Hey, what's up guys? This is my video on how to install the insert coin ROM on your HTC One M7. So this is for the international variant only and this ROM brings you the latest version of Sense, that is the Sense 6. This is much of an port as the official Sense 6 is not available for the M7. This ROM is totally stable but all the features of the Sense 6 is not working as of the day. But soon we will get the stable version and I will be coming out with the full review. As of now we can experience Sense 6 using this ROM. You must be rooted and should have a TWRP recovery installed. If you don't know how to do that, you can search on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you'll find a lot of tutorials there. It does not matter whatever ROM you are coming from, this method is totally safe to install. Since you will be losing all your apps and data, make sure you back up everything important before you install this ROM. Now hit link 1 from the description, that will take you to this page from where you need to download the ROM. Download the ROM and transfer it to your phone. Once done, turn off your device. Now hold the power button and the volume down button continuously until you get into the bootloader mode. Ok, once you see this, you can let go the keys. Over here you can use your volume keys to navigate and power button to select. Select recovery and hit the power button. So the device will boot into the recovery mode. Once you are on the recovery mode, make sure you are running the latest version of TWRP recovery, that is the 2.6.3.3. Now go to wipe and swipe to perform a factory reset. Now that's done, go back and go to advanced, select Dalvik cache and cache and swipe to confirm. Now that's done, go back, go to install and navigate to wherever you have the insert coin ROM file. Select it and swipe to install. So this is the ROM installer where you can choose what apps you want and what you don't. Hitting next, we already have done the full wipe, still choosing full wipe here. And as I've already mentioned, this is for the international variant only. Next. Here you have the special features that you want to install and guys all these are totally safe and optional. If you want to install it, you can check it, else you can skip it. Like show LTE instead of 4G, lower proximity sensor sensitivity, stock boot animation etc. So I don't want any of them, I just want the stock boot animation. So choosing this and hitting next. So these are the stock apps that you want to remove. Select the one that you want to remove. I want all the default apps, so hitting next. These are the Google apps that you want to remove. Say I don't want Google Books, Magazines, Music, Play Games. Uh, I need the Google Launcher and the Keyboard. So that's done, hitting next. So these are additional applications that you want to remove. So you can check on the applications that you want to remove from this list. So this is again totally safe as I've already mentioned. Next, these are the widgets that you want to remove. I will leave it to the default selection, but this is also optional. Next, we have language for the keyboard. Here I will choose English and you also can choose multiple languages if you want to. Next, we have super user app by different developers. Here I will be choosing the first one. Now hit install. So I will be back with you once the installation is complete. Ok the installation is done, now hit reboot device. So the first boot will take some time, be patient and I will be back with you guys once the device boots back. So we have successfully installed the ROM, let me just go through the basic setup. 
So as you can see, we have this Blink V2, goodies from the Sense 6, like the toggle color, weather widget, etc. So okay, first let's go on to settings and check the software details. So we are running the Android 4.4.2 KitKat with Sense 6 on top of it. I believe we also have the Sense 6 wallpapers. Uh, yeah, there you go. Flat icons on the settings menu. We have new dialer. Themes. You can apply various themes uh, from the personalization tab. You can see the change in color when applying different themes. Each theme has its own color. Notification bar color changes to match the color of the app as you can see here. So this is also working fine. You also have got options to remove the blink feed. You get the new camera UI with a separate app for Joey. Everything is working fine here. Camera, Wi-Fi, you know, everything is working fine. Everything feels smooth and responsive. You even have this extreme power saving mode that you get with the HTC One M8. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things going on here. So that's a wrap for this video guys. I will be coming out with a full review once we have a fully working Sense 6 for the HTC One M7. Stay tuned and you guys have a great time.